unit. And in this video, I'm going to show you the uh, navigation screen and some of the uh, information that's displayed there. We're looking at it currently in uh, 3D daytime mode. And as you can see, it gives you a nice, uh, smooth, or relatively smoothly updated video showing your position. Uh, just to give you some idea, let's uh, switch over to 2D mode. And this is the one that I typically like to use uh, just because I feel that it shows uh, more information on the map at any given time and lets you see uh, more of your surroundings. Now let's take a look around the map here uh, and around the screen. First of all, uh, you'll notice uh, over here on the bottom left we've got uh, the direction of our next turn as well as how far it is until that next turn. We've got uh, the total distance remaining on our trip. We've got how long it's expected to take that uh, to make that trip the uh, current time as well as the estimated time of arrival, our current speed, and if we had a GPS signal, it shows the strength uh, signal here. Uh, you'll also notice that we've got a compass on the map, and this is configur configurable so you can see different information, but this is currently showing uh, our direction of travel and the arrow points north. At the bottom, we've got a street name or a highway name, and this uh, seems a little bit flaky to me. Sometimes it shows you the street that you're currently on, sometimes it shows you the street that you're about to turn on. So. Uh, it's giving you some current information, and that may be based a little bit on how far it is until your next turn. Uh, in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see that we've got uh, what is supposed to be our next street sign. So this next major street sign that is of importance to us is what's shown there. You'll also uh, notice uh, that uh, as we approach a turn, notice I've got the sound turned off right now. But let's uh, turn the sound on so you can hear what the navigation sounds like. And we'll hear that as we approach the turn here shortly. You can see in less than 300 yards we're supposed to be turning. Sharp left, then take the motorway. So that gives you some example. And it gives you an additional warning uh, a little bit further back. But uh, the voice prompts on this are uh, really quite good. So let's turn the sound back off. So uh, that pretty much gives you the information that's available to you on the uh, navigation screen, and this is the top time.